hello, hello, it's Jeff with Tiny Garden. I am here today, it's an exciting day, because we are planting tulips. Now, I'm up at my front porch area, I'll show you this view in a second, but we have a sidewalk leading up, you can see it starts to flare out up here, and I am planting specific tulips in specific spots, so I'm having a plan. You could say maybe I'm planting them more formally up here, but this video is going to be a little different instead of just showing you how to plant them it's planting them with a plan so that you get the best look you're looking for in some areas in the spring to give you an idea where we're working at here this is our new front porch space it's been added on to our house still under construction and this is the area on each side that i want to plant a nice show of tulips so I've augged most of the hole, but I'm doing so in a fashion where I start with one. You can see this one right here, and then two. I'm also going at an angle. So as I'm walking up the pathway, they're flaring out diagonally, which makes a little bit of a difference as opposed to if I was just planting them in a straight line. And same thing over here, starting with one, they go diagonally. It's kind of tough to see here right now. But in the spring, ideally, what will happen is you'll walk up the pathway here and tulips will be going diagonally, diagonally, other way, diagonally, diagonally. So it'll just be a really nice show as you're coming and walking up to the front door. So that's the first part, figuring out where you're planting your tulips, if you're planting them in any sort of pattern and auging those holes. Secondly, you need to know what kind of tulips you're planting in there so you know what your spring show will look like. Are you going by height? Are you going by color? Are you using any specific design or are you just throwing some into the ground? When you're doing something with a plan, usually it takes a little more than throwing them into the ground because you're looking for a certain look. So I've got my bulbs laid out here. I'm gonna bring you down here and give you a closer look so you can see how I decided what to plant where. So I know this essentially is my game plan because I want my tulips to come into my walkway. I want them to flare out as people are walking up. I want it to go from a low height to a high height and to have a bloom through all spring. So I'm starting with early, next section will be mid spring bloom, and last section will be a late spring bloom. The colors will mesh nicely together. I'm using reds, yellows, and a little pinkish apricot. And so there's nothing that'll stick out like a sore thumb. There's a different blend of textures, but enough cohesiveness that it should be a really nice look. While they're cutting down that tree behind me and making a lot of noise, now would be a great time to subscribe to our channel to follow along our journey here. Okay, so on each tulip bag I have, it tells me the name, the height that they'll get to at maturity, when they're blooming in spring, so early, mid, or late, and a couple other pieces of info that can be helpful. This is how I'm going to decide what I want and where. It also tells me the color, but try and have your order sheet and the picture of which each tulip looks like so you can design accordingly. To double check, I put the images up on my computer screen to see how the show will look. No, no, no. Okay, easy on the bulbs, please. Thank you. The first section is gonna be Miranda Double Early Tulip, which I know is a rich red double early tulip that gets 10 to 16 inches. I'm also putting them on the other side, thus, here and here, first section. This is my walkway. Next, we'll have Double Beauty of Appledorn Darwin Hybrid Tulip. So this one is a mid-spring bloomer. Its height is 12 to 18 inches, and I know the color of it. I've seen the picture. I've put all of these together. I know that they're going to mesh nicely. So this one will be an earlier bloomer and smaller in height than this one. That's what I want. I'm looking for gradual height progression as we get up here. My last one is going to be a ballroom fringe tulip that gets 16 to 22 inches tall and blooms in the late spring. So I've got 70 holes on each side, which is 140 holes. So I have to double check that I have enough tulips and an even amount of tulips to cover both spaces. So I just go through all my bag, count all of my tulips up, which I've just done, and I've got about 130 but I also have some bags with a few stragglers in them, which are these types of varieties. So I'm gonna come out okay. 
if I need to, at the very top, I can plant a couple of different little seed of red tulips that I have that'll blend in okay, or any type of tulip that you can kind of save as an emergency reserve. It's time to get planting. So first, auging holes. Next up, we'll be fertilizing with our trusty bulb tone fertilizer. Now I come in and put about a handful of fertilizer into each hole. Some people come in and just spread the bag out over the holes. I don't think it really matters as long as you're getting fertilizer into the hole. Okay, I'm starting to lose light here, but the last step is to put those tulips in the ground according to your plan. So you'll take your tulip bulb, plant it flat side down, so this, which is where the roots will grow, down in the hole, pointy side up, and you also may actually see some new growth coming out. That is where your tulip stem will develop. Pointy side up in the hole. I'm working back to front, as in back of the garden bed to the front, so my ballroom fringe tulip, the tallest tulip, is gonna go first. I'm just going to place them all because I think it'll be faster and then I'll come back in and cover them all up at the end. If you have a partner helping you, it's really nice because someone can aug as you go in with the balls and fertilizer and cover them up. But if you're working by yourself, as I am today, you can still do it. Just be as efficient as possible. Do all one task and then move on to the next. Then I'm repeating the same one on the other side to keep it even. First variety is in. We're looking nice and even. That double beauty of Appledorn is next. It's completely dark out now, so I'm gonna talk to you under the light. I have finished the Miranda double early tulips, and now I have six spaces on each side that I'm gonna go into that little emergency reserve and use the tulip that I thought would go with the rest of my plan if needed. And that is going to be for me, the Helmar Triumph Tulip, which is the one that is reminiscent of a Rembrandt Tulip. So I'll put all of these on the screen so you can see how this will look. And this is again, an early blooming tulip and even shorter than the Miranda Tulip. So it's still following my plan. We are done here. Everything is planted. The next step is to cover them all up. And I've lost my glove on this step. The last and final very important step, put Repel All on top of all of your bulbs where you planted them after you've covered them so that deer and other pesky little critters can't get to them or eat them because then you won't have a show. The next morning, I'm gonna take you out to take a look at these in the light now that we're all tucked in. Little white powdery stuff on top is the repel all. And on the other side, same thing, all tucked in, no bulbs visible with the repel all on top. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you got some helpful tips and tricks. The last section I wanna address is that some people do water after getting everything planted in the ground. I personally do not because our ground is pretty wet and holds a lot of moisture anyways. Last year I didn't and our tulips did fine. So I err on the side of not putting too much moisture on them because I don't want them to mold and rot. But some people, if you're in a drier climate, definitely do, which I completely understand. So if you are, that would probably be your next step. If not, and you're like me, it's okay not to as well. But otherwise, I hope this video was helpful and that you found some helpful tips and tricks for planting tulips in a particular way to put on a particular show in the spring. Please comment below and let me know what you're planting for your spring show this year with your bulbs. I'd love to hear some ideas. And subscribe and follow us along here if you haven't yet already. See you in the next one. Bye. Happy planting.